This young woman, let's call her Ellie, isn't feeling well. But she doesn't go to the doctor's office. He comes to her via an app called Babylon Health. Hello. Hello there, this is Dr. Buck from Babylon. Thanks very much for choosing us for your consultation today. How can I help? The last few days Ellie explains that her eyes itch. Mobasher Butt is a general physician, and at Babylon Health, he also chooses the doctors who provide the services digital consultations. Antihistamines, just over-the-counter ones. Our service is an on-demand service, so as soon as a patient books an appointment, uh, the next available doctor um, is allocated to that patient. Um, so the patient cannot necessarily select a named doctor, but they are able to see the names um, and details of all of our doctors on our website. A long distance diagnosis by the next available doctor. Users of the popular app don't seem to view that as a drawback. Although it's only been on the market a few months, the London-based firm already has around 100,000 customers. Behind the scenes at the app developer, the atmosphere is relaxed. The team is made up of experts from around 20 different countries. It was put together by founder and CEO, Ali Parsa. I know you, you got the solution in the back of your mind. You know exactly what is the problem. You're just trying to keep these guys in suspense, right? Parsa's vision has a lot in common with that of other digital startups. There is so much we could do to make healthcare not just simpler, and more accessible, but better. And that's, that's our aim. Our aim is to do with healthcare what Google did with information, to make it available to everyone everywhere. Open the app. Patients can also receive Ask written questions. consultations, and the app can track some bodily functions. Consultations are erased from a patient's phone and the doctor's computer after every session. Babylon employs IT experts to make sure the system is secure. The reason we have to go through all these steps is medical data is incredibly precious. Um, a lot of people are trying to access it illegally. Our patients have a right to make sure that their data is secure and safe. So we go to a lot of effort um, and time to make sure that we're protecting the data at all times. Well, just to summarise then, Ellie, um, I do think it's hay fever rather than eye infection. Um, I'll prescribe the sort of the three things... It's nothing care. serious. Otherwise, Ellie would have been advised to see a doctor for a physical now, exam. Um, the developers believe their approach to medicine has a bright future. I think the potential for uh, digital healthcare to benefit um, patients globally is huge. Um, it has huge potential to be able to help patients where resources are scarce and where doctors are scarce. Dr. Butt sends Ellie a digital prescription and she can pick up the medication at any pharmacy. Was there any other questions that you had at all? No, that was all. Great, okay, well thank you very much indeed for using Babylon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.